What's up, everybody? You and me, we are going on a dollar store beauty adventure. I did this first a uh, couple years ago, and lots of people enjoyed so it. So basically what I do is I go to the store, um, look around, uh, look for some of those generic products, see actually how well they perform. You know, we test them out in this video. And I'm not sure what we're going to find, because last time there were quite a few, um, you know, Dollar General brand items that compared to a certain name brand. It's but been a while since I've really scoured the dollar store so I think we're gonna go back and see if we can find any new things and let you know how it goes all right we have arrived here at the lovely Dollar General and we're gonna take a look inside and see what we find all right so I'm gonna be testing out these slush puppies slush bars <laughs> just kidding I know those are good but as far as the beauty stuff I actually ran into quite a few new things that I hadn't seen uh, there before Ooh, just got home it's so hot outside I feel like I'm melting now a little bit um, but I wanted to give you a closer look at the items the LA color stuff we'll try that out the lashes and an adhesive as well with a wand so that might be a nice comparison to the Revlon we'll try the eye roller hop in the shower try out this body wash um, got the lip balm of course we'll first begin by taking the makeup off or trying to anyway with these makeup removing towelettes cupcake says I will try out the cat treats you bought me that is all so these makeup removing facial towelettes are comparable to the Neutrogena kind. There are 25 in the packet here and the last time I used some generics from Dollar General it was in that last video and they were the Pons kind and they did not perform too well in getting all my makeup off. These claim to dissolve all traces of makeup including waterproof mascara so um, it doesn't feel too terribly moist. It has sort of a fresh scent to it. Actually kind of a strong scent um, but I'm just going to get started taking off the makeup. just going around my eye with this because I can just sense that there's so much fragrance in these but I am not feeling any irritation right now it looks like a lot of the products coming off to really test how much this took off I am ooh it doesn't look pretty I am gonna wash my face with an equate um, towelette here that you moisten with water and those really seem to get rid of everything on my face all the time. And so we're going to just go over my face with one of these and see if it picks up anything extra. Here's what we've got. Um, there's a little bit of eye makeup that, that still came off on this one. But really, um, maybe a little bit of face makeup, but not much. All those things considered and the fact that it didn't take off absolutely everything. It did need a little extra help. I would give these like a B plus. I have tried the actual Neutrogena kind. These seem to perform uh, very much the same way the, the brand name does. So um, I think these are pretty good. So now we're going to hop in the shower or I'm going to hop in the shower, not take the camera with me and try out the vanilla body butter wash. And this says compared to soft soap, body butter, mega moisture body wash. It says it's going to hydrate skin, leave skin feeling smooth and silky. So we will see if that's the case. Just out of the shower and I gotta say I really like this stuff. Um, I got a little whiff of the scent when I was in the store and I thought it just had a really nice light soft smell. Um, kind of a typical vanilla scent that you would expect. It's one of those body washes that kind of has a, a really thick creamy feel but yet it's still able to lather up. And I've not put any lotion on yet since getting out of the shower and I still feel like um, my skin doesn't feel like squeaky clean clean, dry, you know what I mean? Um, just for a good general body wash that's not going to completely strip your skin but still get you clean, I think this is great. It's enriched with mango butter. That's the kind of butter that's in here. I enjoyed it. I'll keep using it and I'll give it an A. Next up, moving into the skincare stuff, I'm going to try this DG Body Rejuvenating Eye Roller. Um, I actually have the Olay version of this, which is the Olay Regenerist Anti-Aging Eye Roller. And believe it or not, this actually contains more product. This contains point three fluid ounces and the Olay is 0.2 fluid ounces which was kind of surprising. Um, totally different like packaging format here with the Olay it had kind of a clicker at the bottom and then um, the little beads here where product comes up through and then you can roll it around on your eye. Um, this one 
it's more of a squeeze tube, which I think I like even better. Um, and you just squeeze it, product will come up, and you can roll that. Um, it says anti-aging, enhances elasticity, depuffs, and illuminates. And wow, it does feel pretty cooling. It says for best results, apply in the morning and as needed. I bet if you left this in your refrigerator, it would really give you a cooling sensation. But I like that you just squeeze it. You can see a little product coming up there and then it just rolls right under. It seems to have absorbed fairly quickly into the skin, but it still feels moisturized. It seems to be performing and feeling just like the Olay kind does, um, but as far as any anti-aging benefits, I'd have to use it a little bit longer before I gave it any kind of grade. Also got the Beeswax Lip Balm. This is to be compared to Burt's Bees. It's 100% natural, um, and I gotta say, it's going on my lips much more smoothly than the Burt's Bees kind did. I always felt like Burt's Bees was just a little bit dry. Maybe it was the tube I had or something, but I didn't feel like it just was gliding on with ease, even from when I first picked it up. But this has that same minty feel, kind of a tingle. If you like a minty lip balm, you might really like this. Um, real basic. I mean, it's not giving you any color, of course, or anything like and that. And I got this like near the, the cough drops area, not near the beauty stuff. It actually says DG Health on it. But again, it's a beeswax lip balm. Um, I have no complaints. Um, it feels really smooth. I don't think it feels real greasy or anything. And I feel like it's even smoother than the original Burt's Bees. So um, A for that. All my foundation, powder, bronzer, and all that stuff on. Um, but I'm going to try this LA Colors Blush in Blushing Pink. And it came with this little brush, which unfortunately is no good. <laughs> and I didn't think it was going to be. I mean, it's just tiny, and it's cut really blunt, and it's just not soft at all, and just, I'm not going to go there. Um, but this blush, I thought, wow, if that color turns out to be pigmented, I think that'd be really pretty. Plus, it's not overly shimmery. It just looks kind of like a satin finish. Um, so to swatch it on my finger, it looks about like that. So not too bad. A little more sheer than I was hoping for, but let's see how it looks on the cheeks. I'm just going to grab have a blush brush here. Pick some up and kind of go on the outer part of the apple of my cheek. It's kind of pretty actually. It's definitely not one of those blushes like sleek or the balm or something where you barely tap into it. I mean I'm kind of like swirling my brush in it and then applying. It was really hard to open actually. I had to like pry that top part open with my tweezers and then the bottom part it's kind of strange. It's got an eyeshadow applicator in there and a little mirror. I so this is kind of an average to above average blush. I'd give this uh, a C plus. I think it gave pretty color. Um, it's something I may continue to use now and then maybe depot it out of this thing um, just so I don't have to mess with this compact every single time. Thinking about like a comparable price range, the e.l.f. Studio blushes, which I love, are three dollars and I think they're quite a bit better quality than this so that's why I give this kind of an average rating. These jumbo eye pencils from LA Colors. I have them in the green shade and this taupe. The green is called Summer Love. The taupe is called Sandcastle. Here are my swatches. Um, the green one actually has glitter in it. The um, taupey color is more like just a metallic pearly finish. These aren't the kind of um, like jumbo pencils that set to a completely long wearing finish like a Maybelline color tattoo or the Mally shadow sticks or the Milani ones that I've talked about. Um, they're more like I think the NYX uh, jumbo pencils in staying power but they don't go on quite as smooth. It's not like this was hard to apply but it's just a little more dry in consistency. But I am going to take this taupe one and just use it um, across my eyelid just so you can see you know what it looks like on the eye. I feel like I've got to press kind of hard here on my eyelid which I don't love doing um, in order to get that color on there. It's not not super pigmented or bold. And these swatches have had a chance to sit on my hand and you can see they just don't get to that long wearing um, really like set state. So for these, um, I'm giving these a D. <laughs> there are just so many drugstore long wear cream shadow products on the market these days and um, they did have more colors. They look like they had some pretty colors but um, I can tell by the texture of both of these that they're a little bit dry and yet they don't have amazing 
using staying power. Now the eyeshadows, they had lots of different trios, and these were new to me. I hadn't seen these before. Um, three color eyeshadow palettes from LA Colors. They were all a dollar, and this one is called Magnolia. I really was attracted to the purple and the coral um, in this palette. So there's a look at those. Um, they all kind of have a pearlescent finish to them. Um, a little bit powdery, I could just tell as I put my finger in them, but uh, color intensity wise, it's really not too bad. So I think I'll go ahead and do a quick look with these. thought nice and easy to blend. Um, it was kind of fun to see how the coral and the purple shades interacted a little bit. Um, I thought the purple looked really pretty and soft, um, kind of just with a fluffy brush there in the outer corner. Um, I also did the purple under the lower lash line and I smudged it over some black liner and it even made um, that purple a little more intense. So I like this and I would go back and probably try some of the other shades that they offered. I think you get a nice amount of product in here. It was just a buck. Now keep in mind, oh, as I was looking over most of the shade selection, they all had kind of this shimmery finish too. I don't think they're maybe quite as strong as like my Wet n Wild eyeshadows in terms of pigmentation or um, I think of the Maybelline Eye Studios as being some, you know, really shimmery shades that pack a big punch but they're not bad and I think if you ran into a trio of these that you know were colors you were really looking for like these are really fun. I would give this a B plus. I think it's above average. The shadows do have a you know some sheerness to them but they can be built up and they're pretty easy to use. All we have left here to do is to put our lashes on and I picked up two sets. I got the Broadway Eyes 100% Human Hair Lashes in Flirty which this style kind of reminds me of the Kiss zero threes I think so kind of um, a lengthening lash but it's got like varying lengths of the lashes themselves so some are longer some will give you the look of more thickness and then I got dreamy which is more of a it looks like a shorter lash um, maybe a little more dense all around and these were a buck fifty each. I'm gonna go with this style because I don't feel like I usually wear lashes that are that thick and short. The band is pretty flexible. Um, it still reminds me quite a bit of like say the Salon Perfect style. The glue I have here it says black odor free latex free waterproof Broadway eyes um, glue and so this is the strip eyelash adhesive it says 24 hour flexible hold and you take it out and it's got it's not a brush tip but it's like a, a hard um, plastic tip and so all they had was black I'm just going to get this on my lash band holding on to the center of the lash I'm going to place it right on my eyeliner there and I'm going to attach the outer corner now the benefit of the black glue is that pretty much, you know, it, it gets invisible to the eye um, immediately. I mean, appearance-wise, I have no problems with these. I feel like they add thickness, um, they're not super long, this may be exactly what someone's looking for who wants, you know, kind of a natural lash but something that's, you know, not too crazy long. Um, they feel really lightweight on my eyes. The glue was pretty easy to manage. So we'll check back in a little bit later and see how well the lashes and the whole eye look stayed. Hey guys, it's uh, early evening time now so I thought I'd check back in and actually I've had some issues with the lashes. Um, not not so much the lashes, I think, but actually the glue. About an hour into wearing them, I noticed that they were actually coming loose, not on the ends, but actually right in the middle. Um, and so I don't know what the deal was. I felt like I had them evenly coated with glue. And so I took them off, re-glued them, put them back on, and I'm having a similar issue on, let's see, this eye has held up pretty well, but this eye still 
is coming a little bit undone. So I don't think it's the lashes fault. The lashes seem really similar to a lot of things I've used, but this glue is not really something I think I can trust. I really wanted this to work because the price comparison to the Revlon Precision Lash Glue, I mean, this is, would be a good deal, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So I give this a, uh, let's see, an hour into wearing them, they started to come up. Uh, I give this a D. I love that it has the wand. I think there's a good concept going on here, but it just doesn't work well. And then as far as the lashes go, I don't have a problem with these. I would give these an A, A minus maybe, just because there were only two styles. It'd be awesome if they had a bunch of different um, false lash styles there in the store. But um, the shadow held up fine. I feel like there's been no creasing, no fading um, all throughout the course of the afternoon. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'm glad you were interested to see another one. Again, if you want to see the first one I did, um, it was a couple years ago, and I'll link to that below in the info box. But um, these are really fun for me. I was me. thinking about maybe other stores I could do this at um, that carry just a lot of store brand products. If you have some suggestions and things you're interested in, um, definitely shoot your ideas my yeah, way. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.